In this video, we're going to derive the derivative for arc sine of x using properties of inverses and the chain rule. So, my function is g of x equals arc sine of x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sine of both sides. So over here I get sine of g of x. And when I take the sine of the arc sine of x, because they're inverses, I get x. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. Over here I've got a chain rule, inside function, outside function. Now the derivative of sine is cosine. I leave the inside alone times the derivative of the inside, which is g prime of x. The derivative of x is just 1. What I want is g prime of x, so I'm going to divide both sides by the cosine of g of x, and I get that g prime of x equals 1 over cosine of g of x. All right, well that's nice, but we're going to actually put this in a little bit nicer form. Recall that g of x is our original function, arc sine of x. So this is 1 over cosine of the arc sine of x. Now off to the side here I'm going to do a little substitution. I'm going to let theta equal arc sine of x and that mean, tells me two things. Number one this becomes 1 over cosine of theta based on my substitution and this, all, this here says that sine of theta equals x. Again, just an inverse property. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that to draw a right triangle. And I can think of this as x over 1. Sine of theta relates, oh, let me put theta in here, the opposite side over the hypotenuse, so x over 1. Now by the Pythagorean theorem then, this side here has to be the square root of 1 minus x squared. Well, if that's true, then cosine of theta, which is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, excuse me, is the square root of 1 minus x squared over 1, but I'm not going to write the over 1. Well, remember what we found our g prime of x was equal to was 1 over cosine of theta. So g prime of x equals 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. And there we've deriv derived the derivative for arc sine of x. It's very, very similar for arc cosine of x. In fact, you should give it a try and see if you can get it to work out. 